Hey reptile lovers, my name is Joe from Valhalla Exotics. I am doing a review on our Vanaheim cage conversion system and going over and explaining the details of each of the product that we included in that and why we've included those different designs and the reason behind the way we do things. So the next part that I wanted to talk about was our Vanaheim cage conversion perch clips. The reason that I decided to go with these type of design is that I tried multiple different styles of perching for my arboreal species, primarily working with green tree pythons and emerald tree boas. I found that there were several different things that I didn't like about the current styles of perching systems that are available in the market. One of those issues was sturdiness. I found that it was difficult to find something that was strong enough to support an adult green tree python or an adult emerald tree boa. Whether you were using magnets or you were using suction cups, all of them seemed to have issues with retaining the weight if the animal's moving around or shifting their weight on it. The other thing that I didn't enjoy is the fact that most of them will rotate. With that rotation, the animal feels uncomfortable, they feel unstable, which in my experience leads them to be a little bit more defensive and aggressive if they don't feel they're on sturdy ground. The best thing that I liked about setting these up is that I designed them in a way that they could be removable. When I first started working with green tree pythons and emeralds, I was excited to work with them. And I, like everyone else, assumed, hey, these are a more aggressive species, they're more defensive, I'm gonna get bit more. That didn't bother me. I've worked with tons of species in the past and found some of them to be quite aggressive and that didn't scare me off, but I was excited. So. In the course of caring for these animals, I did notice those behaviors and those types of reactions. But once I started using our perch clips and I started removing the animal from the enclosure, I started to notice that the only time I was being bitten is when I was removing the animal from the enclosure because I had to take them off of the perch that was solid and retained within the enclosure. Once I changed that, I actually noticed that most of my green tree pythons and emeralds calmed down significantly. I could actually handle most of them. They took away essentially that negative reinforcement of every time I'm gonna be handled, I'm gonna to have to be ripped off my branch, which makes me think I'm gonna fall, then I'm gonna bite him, he's gonna restrain me, or I'm gonna poop, nobody's having fun. That simple change in care routine actually allowed me to develop a relationship with each of my animals and have them respect me as well as trust me more. And in turn, I'm able to return that. It's been great to use these, and so I'm really excited to make these available to the public. Some of the different design features that we have are that on one end, we have a fin in the middle, and we have two hooks on the side that you can use to use uh, vines, hook them into, or drape them across your perches, and have them hang up without actually putting it on the perch itself, which makes it more difficult to remove. The other side has a pass-through, and this is utilized to actually drill through the side of your enclosure. The perch clips actually fit your standard half inch PVC pipes. We're looking at adding different sizes in the near future, but because you're putting that on there, now you have a hollow tube that is strong enough to hold the weight of the snake. And you can actually introduce your thermostat into the portal hole on the side and run it to your perch. Now this does make an issue with moving the perch in and out. So we're working on developing a new system that once it's clipped in, it reads and once it pulls out, the thermostat is actually included within the perch itself. That's coming up in the near future, so keep an eye on us for that. In the meantime, I leave enough slack so that I can still remove the perch from the enclosure and then allow the animal to come off of the branch of their own volition. It's really been fun for me and I really am proud of this product. They actually come in two different colors. This has been really fun for me and I'm really excited for this product. They come in three different colors. We have an ODT green, we have a white, and then we have a black version. All of them look really nice within the enclosure and are very easy to install. We have a perch guide that actually will, once you've measured and decided where you would like your perches to sit and you've marked it on both sides, you can take the center hole, screw it to the side of the enclosure on the outside and then pre-drill these holes, which line up perfectly with the holes on the perch clip itself. You'll then take and put the perch clip in place and hand tighten the screws. All of our products come with the hardware included and you will screw those in. The reason I recommend a hand tightening tool like a screwdriver or a low powered screw gun is because if you overpower your screw gun and you run it in, you can actually strip out the material and make it less secure. So I always recommend using a hand tightening tool, but again, we're only screwing through plastic and it's not that hard to do. 
I'm really excited to make these available to you and I hope that you guys enjoy them as much as I do. Stay tuned for those updates and upgrades as things come along and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us through our website, ValhallaExotics.com. Hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, or TikTok and we'd be happy to get back with you and help figure out how we can help utilize these items for your reptiles or set up new cages so you can get new ones. This has been Joe Finley from Valhalla Exotics and always remember, stay Valhalla bound.